committee's choice when we get to personal administration, but if we vote on this total tonight, it will be changing because you've are, you made a change earlier to a wage line, and any time a change is made to a wage line, it change. directly affects this section. So we can go through the section because there are other items in here to talk mm -hmm. about. There's the merit line that Jenny had asked about before. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't recommend that you move this number forward at this time because you're going to have to amend it anyway at well, a later date. So that's up to that's, you guys. No, let's, let's move the number that we have okay. that's on the piece of paper. And then when you come back for the adjustment, we can change it when we do our final review. Okay? okay. Just so that we're moving forward here. Um, do I have a motion on the personal administration, 4155? Is that uh, Mike Plouffe? Yeah. Okay. And seconded by Regina. Okay, three million three hundred and forty nine thousand four hundred and twenty eight dollars. Barbara, three three four nine four two eight. Okay, all right, Christy, would you like to uh, go down the list and please? So employee separation cost is a zero percent. Um, the sick leave buyback program, I <coughs> increased that to two hundred thousand. So that's a 5.26% increase. It's literally just based on the use. We're seeing more use of that. You can see that's a one-time payout in January. So the $204,411 that you see as of 9-30-17, that number hasn't changed. So in 17, we were over budget there. And I project that we will be at that same spot next year. We have the same uh, individuals. We haven't lost any of the employees who participate in that. Uh, the merit pay raises actually went down to down a negative 12.46 percent. I look here. I think that we put in two percent. I think the board. Yeah, we were instructed by the board. So that's two percent for all new all non-union positions, with the exclusion of the town manager and the assistant town manager there. Not included in that line. Um, let's see, and then we have Social Security, Medicare, and all of the retirement ones there are literally based on whatever wages are in the budget. It's strictly a calculation. If there's a hundred thousand for Group One retirees, it's a hundred thousand times eleven point three eight percent. You know, so that's just a flat number based on whatever wages are put into the budget. So those are the lines that could possibly change okay. based on um, changes that are made. Here right, and when level. they do, just okay. let us know and we'll make the adjustment, okay? So that so. is personal administration. Thank you, you very much. Any questions for Christy on personal? David. Could you help me, Christy? Yes. And I know to try to explain it there, but the policeman and the fireman yes. are both, one's up 1175. Are these all contractual and you That's the New Hampshire retirement, and the percentages went up July 1st. Yeah. And then the wages did go up for the fire contract because the fire contract passed. It was eight times the equal C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rate, uh, rates went up. <coughs> I think they're at 29.43 and. Um, yeah, that's what they're at. They went up July 1 of 17, the rates for retirement did. But then there were pay increases also, so when, and it's directly related to wages, like I had stated. So, right. with any pay increases, then, and then the also having the increase in the retirement rates, they compounded each other. And Do they explain? Do they just tell you what the retirement rates are? It's oh, they just tell you. They just send it out. It's every two years now, at least. So it's, they don't change them every year anymore. I mean, I guess they could change that, but as of right now, it's every two years. Okay. Thank you, Christy. All set, David. Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Oh, no? Seeing none? We'll vote on this. <clears throat> Personal administration, all those in favor, raise your hands. And it's unanimous. Thank you very much.